I know, I know. Chatter is annoying. And the heavy metal music made it worse. As we all know, chatter is caused by vibration. In this case, from the bass and the post. As I said in the last video, here's my plan. I'm going to pour concrete inside the post. And made a concrete base as well. With rebar reinforcement of course. Then I'm going to put a tension cable inside the post. Stretching it while the concrete is still wet. Then I will loosen the tension after the concrete sets. This theoretically will eliminate all vibrations from the post and the base. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll flip it so you can see what I'm saying. There. That's the plan. Before you ask, what is this ugly thing? Let me explain myself. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here, just to let you know. I know that I have to put this rebar as a structural frame for the concrete. I'm sure this is not the proper way, although I have a couple of concrete projects I have before using this method, and they seem to have worked. So. My apologies. Anyway, I welded this rebars to a shape that I think will support the concrete. I welded bolts on six corners sticking out the base so they will keep things tightly pressed together. This is the steel cable that I will be using as the tension rod inside the post. It will be pulled by this bolt and then out on the top end. You'll see what I mean. I have to make sure I tighten this by hand so the ball can have enough threads to pull the cable to my desired tension. But the struggle is real. Hold on. I got this. I should have listened to my Jiu Jitsu instructor how to do collar chokes.
Okay, this is the other side where the bolt is. The hat shaped nut is from my old truck. I replaced it when I bother lifted the truck. And that bolt also came from there. And these are high tensile stuff. I know. I removed them myself and they are freaking solid. They are perfect for this application. The tension is similar to guitar strings. Not too tight and not too loose. Just enough. Perfect. This is how you mix concrete when you're lazy. If you notice, the concrete mix is a little bit watery. I like that. In my very little, not very credible experience, they seem to work very well on formed structures. They sit very nicely through tight corners Preventing hollow points. And that's it. Now we will let this sit here for a few days until the concrete cures properly. While we're waiting, I will be restoring this old Coleman generator. And we'll also fix this Yamaha keyboard's broken power plug. And I think I bought something that you'll all be interested in. So stick around and make sure to like and subscribe. I apologize for the poor quality shots and editing. I'm still learning along the way and I hope you bear with me. Just remember, if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. See you guys around.